Hi guys! Um, so today is going to be a bit of a different little chatty video with you guys. Um, I've got some news um, that I need to share with you and I figured, um, I haven't done a video in a couple of months, I don't think properly, I've done some little shorts and stuff, um, but I figured I need to share this with you um, now because you'll probably be able to tell at some point if I do different kinds of videos. Um, but I am pregnant! <laughs> Um, yeah, so me and my partner, we're expecting a baby. Um, I'll show you my bump, I guess. <laughs> so ignore the dog. <laughs> so I am pregnant. <laughs> um, yes. <laughs> I am rather large. <laughs> I'm actually only 24 weeks, um, nearly 25, but um, I'm pretty big for that far along I think well so people keep telling me which I think is it didn't really bother me at first um the like oh you're big for so and so far along aren't you but now it's starting to irritate me a little bit when people say that but <laughs> never mind um so yeah I'm 24 weeks at the moment we're having a little boy which we're very excited about um, so I figured I'll, I can show you some scan photos and I want to be like that annoying friend like look at my baby <laughs> Um, but I can show you some scan photos and um, I thought I'd share with you what I've been feeling so far, I guess. Um, I'll show you his little photos first, why not? Um, I'm just a bit annoyed though because I went to go and get them out of his little box and I can't find... We had like a... well, it wasn't really... it was significant obviously to us but you couldn't see much on it. We had like a really early six or seven, seven week I think, like reassurance scan at the beginning. Um, we um, had a miscarriage um, late last year so um, I really wanted to just make sure that I could sorry I'm really out of breath he's crushing my lungs at the moment <laughs> I can't breathe very well um, so I wanted to make sure that there was something there that would make me feel better if it was to happen again if that made sense so like I had a picture but touch wood so far he's this little dude's been brilliant, which is great. Um, but I can't find that scan. Um, I think it might be down. It must be downstairs somewhere. Well, I hope it is anyway. Because I'm still an idiot, aren't I? Um, but I've got the ones. What have I got? I've got the ones after that. Hang on. What order are these in? Got a bloody useless. Oh, okay. So these ones. This was the twelve week scan. So this is him. We've only got two of these. Um, because we cut some off and gave them obviously to our parents and stuff when we told them. Um, so that is our little 12 week one which was so exciting because it was obviously we'd seen the seven week one and he was just a little blob on the screen and then we're like oh god it's an actual baby inside me uh, which was crazy um so yeah we cut those cut some of those off and gave them in like a card to um my mum Barry's parents and um Barry's nan as well because he loves his, his nan's very important to him so we went and did that like went round everyone and here you go it was we didn't know how to tell people really and like I I still to this day find it really awkward saying to people I'm pregnant like ooh, <laughs> I don't know why like I'm some sort of child that shouldn't be having a baby I don't know um but I'm 29 so I think we're okay <laughs> um but yeah we did that with those ones and then after in the UK you can find out your gender on your 20 week scan usually but if you pay privately you can find out at 16 weeks and we were really eager we really wanted to know because I was the amount of morning sickness and discomfort and just nausea I had I was adamant I was having a girl like adamant I even bought a little strawberry <laughs> jumper and like jogger set things I, I, I was like it's definitely a girl but no nope, we were shocked when it was a boy so this was a private place we went to a little bit away from where we live um and then so we got those little photos of him these are 16 weeks um oh god <laughs> i'll show you the like regular ones first so there's those he's all pretty much in the same position he does move a lot when he's in there but the photos are pretty much the same they gave us like a sneak peek um three is it 3d or 4d i'm not sure um sneak peek look like if you wanted to go back and have a 3d or 4d scan which we are going to do um probably in three or four weeks time when he's a bit like, more fully formed and hopefully not as scary as these ones <laughs> but <laughs> he just looks terrifying i don't know why i'll show you but he looks a bit like i just 
obviously they're not fully formed and stuff at this point. So sorry, it's making me really gassy. It's not like, oh God, so sorry. Um, they're not fully formed at this point. Well, they are fully formed, but like their skin and it's just not a bit proper baby looking, is it? So he looks a bit like when I was in there, I was like, oh gosh, he looks, um, looks a bit like Predator in that one, doesn't he? But um, the lady that was doing it, um, well, the nurse, sorry, um, who was with the ultrasound lady said he was the smiliest baby that they'd had all day. So I was like, that's good. At least he's happy, happy as Larry in there, which is nice. Um, and then we had the 20 week scan, which obviously they would, they were going to tell us the gender, but we said, obviously we know it's a boy. Um, but if you want to confirm that, that'd be great. And it is definitely a boy. Um, oh, you could see a little wee wee in one of them as well, I think. Yeah. So we definitely know it's a boy. <laughs> um, yeah, so these are the 20-week ones. Hang on, because does this say where? Oh, I've already done it anyway, whatever. Um, these are the 20-week ones. He's got a little pot belly, which is cute. Um, and everything was fine there. That, the 20-week scan, a lot of people were like, oh, it's the gender scan, it's the gender scan. And in my head, I was like, no, it's the abnormality scan where they find out if anything's wrong with him so I was just so worried the whole way up until that scan when she said he looks great looks brilliant nothing to worry about um from what she saw which was great really relieving for us um so yeah we're both very very happy um so far it's been um it sounds like uh, oh <laughs> I've wanted this for a very long time since I was young. If a lot of, if any of you have been from the beginning, you know that I love babies and I've always wanted to be a mum and a wife and all that jazz. <laughs> um, but it's not been fun. <laughs> Let's put it that way. It's not what they make it out to be in like movies and things like that. And I'd only really had my sisters be pregnant that were around me, but that was like years and years and years ago. And I don't really remember how they felt during their pregnancy and stuff but it's very hard. <laughs> I didn't honestly think it would be this difficult. Like the morning sickness at the beginning, I wasn't so much physically sick a lot, only like a few times, but it was, I almost wished that I was sick just to sort of get it out and it to go away a bit. Do you know what I mean? Like it was all day, every day, <laughs> nausea, feeling like I was gonna pass out all the time at work. Like my job, I'm a dental nurse now, so my job, is running around a lot during the day and stuff and I was getting a bit flustered and obviously with what happened with the miscarriage I really didn't want to tell anyone before 12 weeks um but it was I think I think people just assumed I was really miserable at that point at work because I just wasn't functioning like a he proper human like it was just really difficult for me my dentist that I work with <laughs> actually guessed that I was pregnant at like seven weeks I think um so she knew before anybody but that was pretty good for me to be honest because she knew that I was struggling and sort of if I looked like I was on the verge of like dying <laughs> she would be like go and take a break go sit down what have you which was nice um but it wasn't fun and it didn't go away at 12 weeks like they say it does um I had it pretty much till 16 17 weeks feeling like this and the tiredness as well and I didn't want to eat anything um, I would crave something and then, but, oh, poor Barry, I feel so awful for him, but he's been brilliant. Oh, I just spat in it, my lipstick. <laughs> I feel so awful for him. There was one day I was craving uh, KFC chicken with the gravy and he went and got it me, brought it back. And when he, when it was there in front of me, I was just like, mm, no, thank you. I didn't want it. <laughs> so it could just change that quick. And it wasn't fun because the only thing I'd love is food. <laughs> And I just wasn't loving it at that point. But I mean, in that sense, it wasn't too bad because I didn't put on a lot of weight at the beginning. I was a bit bigger than I wanted to be when I got pregnant. Um, and I don't... People keep saying that they don't think I've put it on body-wise. It's just all in my belly, which I'm fine with. But I'm definitely bigger than what I was, like, when you guys knew me before, if that makes sense. Um but now it's so after that it went on to like getting really bad headaches and um I had bad headaches for like a couple of weeks like so I couldn't go into work for like a week because I was I had the sickness 
I think I had a cold, oh God, no, that was another week. I had a cold at one point as well with that and the headaches and it was just absolutely crippling me. Um, so yeah, that was difficult. So I had headaches for a while, but they've, they've gone away. They come back a bit, like I've got one a bit today, but I think, I don't know, it's raining here and I usually get headaches when it rains. I don't know if anyone else is the same. Um, sorry, this video is going to be really long. Feel free to just skip ahead if I'm boring you. <laughs> yeah, now it's gone on to, um, really bad hip pain. Um, in my right hip um, that again started really early when I told people I had it they were like well that's really early for that to start it's got a name it's P pelvic girdle pain or something like that um, it's agonizing <laughs> like if I'm in surgery at work um, it's manageable in the day probably because I'm moving about and I'm not thinking about it but when I as soon as I get home if I sit down for like two minutes I can't get back up it's that painful. Like the one day Barry had gone out to see his friend and I got off the, well, I tried to get off the sofa and I just was crying while shuffling across the floor, <laughs> trying to like crawl up the stairs to get a hot water bottle, which wasn't fun. Um, it, the pain with that comes on and off depending on how much I do in the day. So if I'm at work in the week, it's agonizing all week. Um, but on the weekends, if I relax, it's not so bad. Um, but i just got to keep going, I suppose, until I can go off on um, maternity leave, which should hopefully be like mid-September. Um, wow, it would be the beginning of October, really, because you usually go like a month before you do. Um, well, most people do anyway, but I've got two weeks holiday at work, so I was just going to put that on the front and then have a month and a half instead. Because <laughs> the pain I'm in, like, when I'm at work, I don't think I can do it much longer. Um but yeah, that is the news. Is there anything else? Very uncomfortable at night, can barely sleep, keep getting pregnancy insomnia, I think it's called. You wake up like all the time. He keeps, I need to pee non-stop. And when I go, it's like, sorry, TMI. It's like a dribble, but it feels like I need a proper wee and it's just not, I think it's not bad. I love him to pieces, but he's, he's testing me. <laughs> um, but no, we're both very happy and I just thought I'd come and share this happy news with you. Um, I don't really know, like YouTube's changed a lot since I did it, which is what I've noticed. Um, like, I don't think a lot of the subscribers that I had are still watching YouTube or I don't really know if this, the system or alg algorithm, I don't know what it's called, has changed and like the videos don't go out to you guys as much, I'm not sure. Um, but I don't know where, like the content won't change per se. Um, but I mean, you guys are probably the same age as me now, I guess. Um, so if you wanted like baby videos, I don't know. Um, I might, I'd probably do some anyway, to be honest. Um, I'm just a bit random with the videos and I'll probably just keep doing that. We've got like his, a lot of his stuff at the moment in the spare room. Oh God, don't. The spare room is just a mess. It's just full of baby stuff. Um, and poor Barry, cause I can't sleep with him in the bed like that much. Like last night he fell asleep in the bed with me for, wow, well, for the first time in a while, I guess. Like on and off he's in bed with me. Sometimes I can fall asleep majority of the time I can't. and he was just all on my side and I'm like, just get off me. And then he flailed his hand and accidentally hit me in the head. And I was like, get out now. <laughs> I'm just vile, honestly. Like, I was really vile at the beginning as well, but I'm actually, I'm better now. I'm nice, I'm nice again. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> but it's really hard to sleep in bed. I've got like a bump pillow sort of thing, which has helped. I did try one of those really long ones, but that is just really claustrophobic and I'm not keen on that. So I've just got like a small bump one, which is nice. Um, I'm gonna go, cause this is dragging on as usual, typical me. Um, so yeah, um, if you see this video, um, I love comments, but if you, yeah, leave a comment. Cause they don't, I don't, again, like I don't know how the videos are working on YouTube now. Um, I used to get comments, but I don't anymore because you don't like me. I don't know, <laughs> but leave a comment if you like. Um, I'm going to try and film another video after this, I think, and um, get in the motion because this is the first day that I felt like not that tired, which is good. Um, and yeah, thank you for listening to me ramble. Sorry, I'm just, my boobs are there. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a bit too lightly. 
um yeah thank you for watching i'll see you guys soon bye